In this tutorial, we're going to be examining binary number representation. So let's start off with the basics. So what is binary? So the term binary implies two. So if we're talking about a binary number system, what that means is we're talking about a number system that represents numerical values using two different symbols. Those symbols being 0 and 1. So why is this useful? Well, the first thing you'll probably think of whenever I say binary or binary number is uh, computers. And so this would be this would be an excellent answer. And so why do computers use binary so much? Well, clearly from the definition here, uh, you can see that it's very simple to represent numerical values in terms of just two symbols, i.e. 0 and 1. So uh, what's an example application? Well, uh, take the data stored on your hard drive right now, for example. So say you have a magnetic hard drive in your computer. So all of the data on that hard drive is stored in the binary number system. And uh, so how are these two symbols represented on a magnetic hard drive? Well, they're simply represented through the two uh, magnetic polarities of positive and negative. So that's one uh, very good example of where it's used. So in this tutorial, what we'll do in order to examine uh, binary number representation is that first what we'll do is we'll take a look at decimal number representation, which is uh, the number system that we're all very familiar with. And we'll just take a quick look at how the decimal number system works. And then we'll relate that to how the binary number system works. And so this uh, should give us a good idea of uh, the relationship between the two. So l first, let's take a look at the decimal number system. So as we know, the decimal number system uses 10 different symbols, those symbols being 0, 1, 2, etc., all the way to 9. So 10 different symbols. Since we have 10 symbols, this is also known as base 10 representation. And so in decimal, what we do is we represent numbers using these 10 symbols as sums of powers of 10. And so what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look in a, at an example. So we have the number 238. So how is this represented as sums of powers of 10? So we have it right on the right side here. So 238 is also equal to 2 times 10 to the power of 2, which is 200, plus 3 times 10 to the power of 1, i.e. 30, plus 8 times 10 to the power of 0. So that's 8 times 1, which gives us 8. So if we add these, we have 200 plus 30 plus 8, which is obviously equal to 238. So we see that all decimal numbers are simply the sum of powers of 10 using our 10 different symbols here. So now let's take a look at the binary number system and let's see the similarities between the two. So as we said before, in the binary number system we use two different symbols, those symbols being 0 and 1. And since we only, ha since we only have two symbols, we call this uh, base 2 representation. And so what this means is that we represent our numbers as sums of powers of 2 in this case. So let's look at uh, another example. So first let's start off with a number we all know, so 26, and I'll just put a little subscript base 10 here, so we know we're talking about the uh, decimal 26. And so how is this represented as sums of powers of 2 using these two different symbols of 0 and 1? Well, we know that 26 is also equal to 1, times 2 to the power of 4, which is 16, plus 1, times 2 to the power of 3, that's 8, plus 0, times 2 to the power of 2, and anything times 0 is obviously 0. And then we also add 1 times 2 to the power of 1, which is 2, and then 0 times 2 to the power of 0, which is another 0. So what we get is 16 plus 8 plus 2, which gives us, obviously, 26. So what have we done here? We've taken our number 26, which is in base 10, our regular decimal, which we know, and then we represented it in base 2, i.e. binary, and its representation is 11010. So at this point, if you're at all curious about, you know, how did we take this number 26 and where did you get these numbers 11010, 
uh, don't worry about it at the moment. Uh, in our next tutorial in our series, we're, we're basically going to examine how do you take any decimal number and then convert it to its binary equivalent. So at this point, you might want to uh, skip ahead to that tutorial uh, and feel free to do so. Otherwise, we will continue on from here. So, so let's do another basic thing with, uh, with binary and decimal. So what's more basic than counting, right? So once again, we're going to look at how we count in decimal, which we all, it seems very trivial, but uh, uh, we'll just uh, take a very quick look at how it works. And then we're going to relate that to how we actually count in binary. So the analogy we're uh, using at the top here is with our odometer on our car. And an odometer basically measures you know, how, uh, uh, how much distance you've traveled. So say this is our odometer here, and we have the number 9 and we want to count up from 9. So how do we do that, right? So as you can see, for our rightmost digit, which is a 9, we've reached the maximum uh, symbol in our uh, decimal number representation. So in order to count up, what do we do? Well, we reset this symbol. So we reset the 9 to a 0, and then we start a new column. So we start the next column, and that increments from 0 to 1. And so we've, we've counted from 9 to 10. And so if we keep counting, what do we do? Well, we have a number 0 here, and so we still have uh, more symbols, so we just count up from 0 to 1. And so we have 11, which is 10 plus 1. Let's look at another example. So say we have the number 0, 0, 0, 0, 99, and we want to count up from that. Obviously, we know that's 100. But let's look at the symbols here. So we have the number 9, so we've reached uh, the maximum... Uh, the uh, last symbol in our uh, 10 different symbols for decimal. And in the second uh, digit on the right here, we have another 9. So in order to count up from 99, what we do is we reset the 9 to a 0, we reset the second 9 to a 0, and then we start a new column and we count up from 0 to 1. And so that's how we get 100. And uh, so obviously, you know, this seems very, very basic. But now let's take a look at how we count in binary. So looking at how we count in binary, let's start, uh, let's start from the beginning. And so 0 is obviously represented by the number 0, 0, 0. And so if we want to count up, uh, the first step is obvious. We count up from our rightmost 0 to a 1. And actually, let me just uh, bring up the page so we can see the two different systems right next to each other. So the difference, obviously, between decimal and binary is that in binary, we only have the two symbols 0 and 1. So what happens whenever we want to count up from 1 to 2? So this is a 2 in binary. Well. We can see in our rightmost digit, we've reached the maximum digit, so we've reached 1. So what do we do? We reset that 1 to a 0, and then we count up. On our, uh, we start a new column, we count up from 0 to 1 in our next column. So we reach 0, 1, 0, and that's the number 2. And let's keep going. So how do we count to 3? And that's 3 base 10. Let's just put the base 10 on these ones. So in order to count up from 2 to 3, we see we have a 0 here, so that simply increments uh, to 1. And then we have 0, 1, 1. And then we, if we keep going, we, ha we, we can see we have 0, 1, 1. So we've reached uh, our, our uh, last symbol, which is a 0. So to count up, well, that resets to a 0. The next one also resets to a 0. And then we start a new column, and we count from 0 to 1. So if we look up here, that's exactly what happened whenever we counted from 99 to 100. We reached the maximum symbol on our two rightmost digits, so we reset them, and then we and then we started a new column, and that be, and so we went from 99 to 100, just like how we went from 0, 1, 1 to 1, 0, 0 in binary, and that gives us 4 base 10. And so you could see uh, the way that we're counting in binary is the exact same method as when we're counting in decimal. The only difference is that we only have two symbols available to us in binary. So if we keep going, in order to get the number 5, then we have 1, 0, 1. The 0 becomes a 1. If we want to keep going, then we have 1, 1, 0, because this 1 uh, 
has we've reached our last symbol with one so we reset it to a zero and then we uh, count up in the next column so the zero becomes a one so we have one one zero which is giving us six base ten by base ten and finally if we want to count to seven it's the same thing so we have one 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 so now that we've examined how we uh, represent numbers in decimal and related that to how we represent numbers in binary and we've also uh, seen how we count in decimal and then count in binary we could see how representing uh, numbers in binary really isn't that different uh, from what we've we've learned uh, you know growing up using the decimal number system and so that is all for this tutorial thank you very much